Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a haul video. So, uh, in this one we are going to be looking at some ladies clothing. So a bit of a different haul video today. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Caroline, Mrs M, who really did help me when I was buying this stuff. Um, and I feel a little bit more confident in it now. Um, and I think by the time a year goes by or so, I might be a little bit better in this niche. Um, but for the moment I am extremely new. Um, but I even just picking, it is kind of weird, but even when you just jump into a niche and you just pick up one item to, you know, to go, go and buy and then sell on, you seem to be a lot more confident even just buying that one item. So, um, it really does make the difference just sort of taking that leap of faith, faith and just sort of buying that one item even. Um, but yeah, today I got nine, well, yesterday I got nine articles of clothing totaling £48 just under £6 a piece, and I'm going to show it to you now. So, I'm not too confident on pricing on some of this, so I won't be saying prices on certain items, and I will be saying prices on other items. Uh, the reason I won't be saying prices on certain items is because I don't want to mislead anyone. I don't want to tell anyone this is worth £50, when in, in reality it might only be worth 20 because I'm none the wiser, I don't know. So... Um, yeah, I, I just don't want to say certain prices. Um, but yeah, anyway, first off, we'll get on get on with the, like, well, this skirt and then these dresses. Um, so this is a Max Mara, I think it's like a pencil skirt. Uh, at least that's what my mum said anyway. Um, and it's like a grey one. I don't know, maybe this is like an office one, do you think? I don't know, maybe an office one. Um, I'm not really sure on price with this one. Um, it's one of them ones that's like sort of eluding me, I don't really know. And um, it's probably one of the easiest things to price for, you know, the, the, the everyday clothing seller, you know, the average clothing seller. But, um, but yeah, I, I can't price it because I'm not in clothing, I haven't a clue, so. Um, but yeah, I think there's some money in it, even for, you know, just below £6, I think there's some money in that. Um, and yeah, so, that's that one anyway. Quite a nice little piece. Um. I got, well, some of these are dresses, so this is a Jaeger one, now I think this is the more modern one, I, there's another Jaeger dress, and I think this is the more modern one, um, and it's, you know, it's a nice long black dress, I don't know the size or anything, let's just check, is it under here? I don't know. I don't know. I'll find it in a bit. I'm not going to do it on video. But anyway, yeah, nice little Jaeger dress. I, you know, it's not a mega big size or anything. You know, I think it's fairly average size. Um, but yeah, that's quite nice. I'm going to put myself out there a little bit and say I'm, I'm quite comfortable that this is going to be an over £20 item. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say an accurate price, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's got to be over 20 quid. Um So yeah, anyway, that's that one. Um... Uh, this is the other year. Sorry, excuse my singing. Um, it's because I'm into this bubblegum dance, isn't it? Now, anyway, um, this is another Jaeger dress. I think this is a you know an older one. Well, not like really old or anything, but just a an older one because the tag you can can you see the tag there? Can you see the tag there? Don't I know it's not showing up. It's not great. But it's a, it looks like an older, older style tag to me. Um, and it's got this sort of sort of striped or line design there. Um, but yeah, quite cool that one. Um, yeah, quite a long one actually. Pretty long indeed. Again, I, I feel quite comfortable in saying that's over £20. But I'm not going to give a pinpoint accurate price. Because I, I just don't really know. Um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm like... 90 to 100 percent sure it's got to be over 20 quid um so yeah that's that one anyway uh next we've got a different make this is an escada escada dress now it says 40 there like size but i was thought in dresses we do like 12 14 16 you know 18 that sort of stuff but yeah i don't know maybe I don't know, maybe I'm wrong with that, but yeah, bit, I think this is a bit of a shorter one, again, it's a black one, um, well yeah, quite a nice dress to be fair, 
Um, again, I'm going to say that that's over a £20 item, um, but I just don't know exactly how much over 20 quid. Uh, ah, blazers now. So we've got some Jaeger blazers and a couple of other styles, of, uh, a couple of other brands of blazer. So again, Jaeger, and again, that looks like an older style tag. Um, and it's like got this striped design, of the grey and the white. Um, I don't really know on this one on price. Um, I have listed one of them out of this lot. Um, and I, I know the price of one of them, but yeah. Anyway, there's that one. Again, it, it, I feel like it's got to be over 20 quid. Um, I'm pretty confident saying it's over 20 quid, but it's just how much, you know. It's just, I just don't know how much, you know. And I don't, you, uh, you know, in one respect, I don't want to undersell it. But I don't want to, you know, like just have it sat there forever. So I want to get, I want to hit that sweet spot, um, you know. So it'll go within maybe a few weeks, um, and I'll get a fairly good price for it. Um, but I'm not also like putting it on too high, so when it just sat for months and months and months and months and months, um, and I don't want to put it on too low, so it just goes like within a few hours or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that one anyway. Um, I got this uh, Betty Barkley, like a little, it's sort of like a blazer, but more, more like a jacket to be fair, I think this one. Um, oh, what did Caroline say about this one? The, uh, oh, what did she say? It wasn't, this design she was talking about, um, checked, that's it, checked. So it's a, uh, like a check jacket, um, as I say, Betty Barkley. Um, I feel quite confident in saying like the 25 to 30 pound on that one. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that one quite nice. Again, condition's fairly nice. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Um, I got, yay, something I'm more confident in because it's more like my sort of clothing type things. Um, Red Bull, Dugatti and uh, Wave Racing or something. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, and it's got like sil what's that silkaline Michelin, um, and it's like a motorbike enthusiast jacket. It's not an actual like motorbike jacket, you know, the ones you wear on your motorbike. But it's you know it's like an enthusiast jacket, um, and yeah, it does have a little oil stain. You won't be able to see it on camera, honestly. If I try, you won't be able to see it. it it's there. It's like there, but you. But yeah, it's like there, right where I was pointing, but you can't even see it. Um, but it, yeah, it is, it, it, you can see it in, you know, when I'm looking at it now, I can see it. Um, and I'm thinking about £30 plus postage on that. I paid for this one. So all the, all the clothing, as I say, nine articles of clothing, uh, which you're going to see the rest of in a minute, uh, for £48. But then this one was obviously set put in a different charity shop for a tenner. Um, but I'm thinking even with the stain, about £30 plus postage on that. So yeah. Happy with that one. Something a bit more, I've, you know, I've done a little bit more with jackets over the last month or two, and uh, I feel a little bit more confident in that one. Um, next, I got something which might be a bit better, might maybe a little bit better price. Uh, Jaeger, uh, and it's a like sort of a cream linen uh, blazer, um, quite a lengthy one, and it is hunt yeah hundred percent linen. And where's the size? UK 12. So, yeah. God, that seems a bit big for a 12, but I don't know. Did, did I read that right? This seems a bit big for a 12, but what do I know? I'm not a woman. Yeah, UK 12. Um, so, yeah, that's that one anyway. I think that might be more desirable, um, but I'm not going to say a price because I don't really know. Um, but, yeah, anyway, there's that one there. Um, and then final couple of pieces here. Now, I don't really know on this one, um, this is a Jaeger, it, it, you know, it's, I wouldn't call it a blazer, it's sort of more of a jacket, um, and again, it's got this, like, stripe design, um, yeah, I'm not too sure on this one price-wise, I'm thinking maybe 25, something like that, maybe, maybe a little bit more, but I'm sort of around that, you know, as a sort of rough price, um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe a bit more research and stuff will have to be done on that one. Because what I found also with clothing is when you're researching... When I research, right, 
Super, new Super Mario Bros on the Wii, you'll get a big long list and it'll be like 9.95, 10.95, 11.95, all that like nice, you know, nice even, all straight prices. You know exactly where to pitch it at. Maybe do like 9.95 or something for a really quick sale, and then maybe 11.95 or whatever for um, you know for a, a little bit of a slower sale. I'm hoping I've got that price right because I've not sold new Super Mario Bros on the Wii for a long time, but that was like the sort of price it was. It was sort of hitting a while back. Um, but with clothing, it's like there'll be, one of these will have gone for like 99p on auction or like £2.20 on auction plus postage. But then someone else on Buy It Now has got 30 quid. And then, and then another person got like £12.60. That's what, you know, clothing's so all over the place. And it's like, how the hell do you determine a good price? So, you know, what you want to pitch at, how the hell do you determine it? But... Anyway, so, so that's that. That's what I'm thinking on that, anyway. Um, and then finally, something I do know the price of, because I've listed, um, is this... Oh, God, I don't know if I'm going to... Caroline Char Charles. Uh, I think this was a 16. Yeah, UK 16. Uh, nice blazer, striped again, uh, with this nice orange striped here. Um, yeah, so again... Quite a nice one. Uh, looking about 30 plus postage or maybe even a little bit higher. I listed for 30 but then I had a chat with Caroline and then she said maybe increase the price. So I don't know. Um, I might just leave it at 30, see how it goes. And then if it sells quite quickly, then I'll, you know, then I'll know maybe for next time if I get a similar sort of one. Um, or even the same, well, probably not the same one, but a similar sort of one, I might want to pitch it a bit higher. But yeah. Um, Anyway, I might revise the price to 35 on that one, but yeah, that's that one. So that's probably like the highest, highest uh, value piece in the lot, I would imagine. Maybe that cream linen Jaeger one might be slightly higher, but I don't think so. I think that'll be around 30, but I'm not sure. See what I'm, actually, I didn't even, yeah, I shouldn't say 30 because I don't really know. But anyway, and maybe that's just my confidence going through. I'm starting to, I'm, I'm starting to get confident even without realising it. I'm starting to get subconsciously confident. Um... So yeah, that's that's everything really, yeah. Yeah, that's everything. So thank you for sticking with me guys. Sorry that I couldn't give you um all the prices of stuff, but I don't want to mislead people, so and I you know, I just don't want people to take my prices as given just because I've said them, you know, that's the exact price. Um because it might not be. So even with anything I'm talking about, video games or board games or something I'm really confident in, it's not always the case that someone is completely accurate with their prices um, because on eBay there's no you know, there's no accurate price even if they are the uh, prices are quite close together it all depends on whether you want a quick sale slow sale um, whether your photos are good all these sort of all these other factors but anyway yeah so that's that one thank you for watching a very historic haul and yeah. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll pick up a bit more women's clothing. Hopefully I'll sell some of this stuff. And when I do, I will show you. And yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.